हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल डॉक्टर वेंकट एस माने हेड ऑफ केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट के के वाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च नासिक महाराष्ट्र वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन रिएक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन डिस्टिलेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेपरेटिंग द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ लिक्विड मिक्सर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट डिफरेंस हीट रिक्वायरमेंट इज देयर टू सेपरेट द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ लिक्विड मिक्सर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट मोर वोनाटाइल कॉम्पोनेंट इज गेटिंग यू ऑपरेटेड फर्स्ट एंड द लेस वोनाटाइल कॉम्पोनेंट इज ऑप्टेड एट द बॉटम वी कॉल इट एज अ बॉटम प्रोडक्ट और द रेसिड्यू दैट मीन्स इन द सिंपल डिस्टिलेशन यू कंसिडर दैट एज अ सेपरेशन ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट डिफरेंस ओके एंड वी नो द रिएक्टर इन द रिएक्टर द कॉम्पोनेंट्स आर गोइंग टू बी फीड एंड द रिएक्शन इज गोइंग टू हैपन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द डिफरेंट कंडीशंस एंड द प्रोडक्ट इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म अदर इट इज अ बैच रिएक्शन और इट इज अ कंटिन्यूअस रिएक्शन नाउ द टर्म रिएक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन दैट मीन्स हियर द रिएक्शन इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू टेक्स प्लेस एंड द डिस्टिलेशन प्रोसेस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू हैपन साइमल्टेनियसली that's why it is called as the reactive distillation okay in a separation the reaction is going to take place in a single steel as well as the separation is going to take place in the same same steel itself see this is the problem you can see over here okay the reactive section is provided into the problem the feed is going to be entered over here the reaction is going to happen okay now the more volatile component is getting evaporated at the top okay condenser is provided then partly the liquid is going to return to the column we call it as a reflux and partly you will be getting as a product at the top we call it as a distillate okay at the bottom that is more volatile less oh sorry less volatile component is obtained at the bottom of the column partly it is going to be sending to the column for the greater degree of the separation okay more on in the simple this in the distillation the reactive section is not there but in the reactive distillation the reactive zone is also there and the separation is also going to take place like the uh, distillation column that is separation of the product from the reaction mixer does not need a separate distillation step which saves energy for heating as well as the material is also going to be saved in the reactive distillation this is more affordable as economical feasibility point of view because we are going to save the energy we are going to save the material also this is one of the advanced separation process that is reactive distillation there are huge applications of reactive distillation the different application processes are you can take as a as acetylation process then alkylation process then amination process esterification process then etherification process then trans esterification we can go for the reactive distillation then hydrolysis then neutralization process oligomerization process or the dehydration process that means the wide applications of reactive distillation is there that means it would be better you operate the reactions as well as the separation in the single column itself that is called as the reactive distillation the distillation is a conventional technique you require the heat requirement also and for getting the reaction to occur okay once the reaction is occurred then you require the another separation column and it require the heat energy as well as the materials for the separation it would be better that both things happen in the single setup single steel that's why the economical feasibility point of view for the greater separation point of view the reactive distillation is a feasible separation process which is called as the advanced separation process i think all of you understood the concept of basic concept of the reactive distillation with this i thank you thank you very much